Hi, my name is Julie Coffey. I'm here at Fertility and Endocrine Associates. I'm going to teach you guys how to mix a little minip here today for your IVF. You should have a calendar like this. At the top of your calendar, you'll see that there's an indication of how many vials you need to take for your dose of Minipure. Minipure is going to come in a large box with two boxes inside of it. Inside of the bigger box, you'll see that it says Minipure on it is going to be your medication. It's packed with five vials of Minipure. The Minipure comes in a powder form, so you'll notice that it's just in this little vial trap until we can get it out. And it also will come with five vials of saline to mix the medication with. Um, if your dose is three vials of Minipure, then you are going to need daily one, two, three vials of powder. That will get you your dose of Minipure for the day. You're going to need one vial of saline because that's all we're required to have to mix. You're going to need your mixing needle. And before you open this, I will tell you that it is a long, scary needle, but it is not going to enter your body. We use this for mixing purposes only. You're also going to need the smaller needle, which is the one we actually do the injection with, nice and tiny so it won't hurt so bad. You will need an alcohol prep pad every time. Um, you can use multiple of these as you pop the caps from your Minipure. They will be sterile to start off with, but it is always good to wipe everything down as you go to keep everything sterile. Um, medications should be given about the same time every day. So if you are doing one dose of three vials of Minipure daily, you can pick your time to do your dose. You do want to try and pick a time that's going to work for you though over a 10 day period. So think about that when you're trying to figure out when to take your medicine. You don't want to start a 5 a.m. regimen and then when you're off from work not want to get out to do an injection. So um, consider that when you're doing your planning. To mix the medication, um, you're going to need to start with washing your hands. Make sure you have a nice clean environment, everything's set out. I do recommend sitting this out every day when you get ready to do your injections. Um, these cannot be mixed ahead of time. We don't want to have any, um, any changes in the efficacy of the medicine itself, so it's best to wait until just before you do the injection to actually mix the medicine. Um, you're going to then start with your mixing syringe and the package will just pull apart as so. You're going to find that you've got a nice syringe with three cc's and a nice big needle on it. Now what I will tell you, there are two things about this that you want to start with and that is tightening the needle just a little bit. Um, they are packaged rather loosely so um, you want to make sure that you're tightening it down so it's not coming apart while you're trying to mix your medicine. Also, these are packed with a nice little bit of suction, so they kind of get stuck initially. If you pull down, you'll notice it pops a little bit to start off with, and then you have no problems with your syringe needle for mixing to get started. Um, for these purposes, since we don't want to waste any medication, just showing you how to mix it, we're going to use just plain empty vials of saline to give you an idea of how to mix this medication. So, our needle is sterile inside the cap there, so we're not going to open that just yet. Your vials are going to be sterile also. The saline has a gray cap on it. Your Minipure is going to have a peach cap, so you'll always be able to tell the difference in the two. These caps can just be popped off with your thumb. You can pull them back with your fingernail, whatever works easiest for you to get that open. You'll notice this nice gray piece here that you'll want to take your alcohol swab and cleanse just to make sure you keep everything nice and sterile, especially with all this crazy pandemic stuff going on. This will just pull straight off and see, as I promised, there's a nice big needle in there. We're going to stick this in the center of this gray piece here. And then what we need is actually not the full vial of saline. This holds two mLs of saline and that's quite a bit for our injection. We don't really need that much. We only need one. So we're going to pull up on this and as you can see it's lifting the liquid out into the syringe. Now we need one. So you'll notice that the black part is here. There's an air bubble between the medicine. You want the top of the medicine to actually, or actually at this point it's just saline not medicine, but you want it to be at the one. And these are numbered nicely with lines so you can always tell how much you have. So once you get this to the one, then you just want to stop and pull the vial off of the bottom. And you'll hear that nice pssst because everything's kind of vacuum sealed in. So next we're going to take this plain saline and we're going to make some Minipure. 
So we have our cap that we've pretended to just pop off. It's one of those peach caps over there. We'll take our nice alcohol swab and wipe that down. And then we're going to put the saline into the vial. So I'm gonna go about halfway down and put my saline in. And then I'm going to check and make sure that it's gone clear. Um, the powder is white in the bottom of the vial, but the saline is a clear liquid and you want the um, medication to actually dissipate into the liquid before you pull it back out. So if you'll look, there's a nice little hole in here or you can look in the bottom just to make sure it's clear before you would draw it out. Um, you're gonna take your needle and go back in and we're gonna pull out the one ml that you have in there. So if you take the needle and put it down in this bottom corner, we're gonna have gravity help us out with this. And then you just want to lift. You can wrap all of your fingers around and use your thumb to pull up or your forefinger and your thumb, or some people will do it this way. Whatever is comfortable for you, but the more hand you get up here, the less control you have over the syringe. So I'd usually recommend holding on to it somewhere along the way. You'll wanna check the bottom corner and when it's all in the syringe, and you have no more in there, then you're just gonna pull the vial off of the bottom. Now you've got all of your medication in here, and we currently have 75 units of Menopure in this syringe. To increase the dose. One vial. That's one vial. One vial of Menopure equals 75 units of Menopure. We're going to increase the dose though because our pretend patient is using 150 units of Menopure, so they need a second vial. To mix the second vial, we're simply going to take the already mixed 75 units of Menopure and mix it with the second vial of Menopure. So we're just going to take our needle and clean off the top that we've just pretended to pop off, that little peach one. It's gonna be added into this vial, and we're just gonna push it down in about halfway down. Then we're going to do a check to make sure that it's all clear. And we'll give it a little swirl for good measure to make sure that it's all clear and mixed properly. And we're gonna put our needle back in and pull out our medication. And we'll just pull, pull, pull until it's all out. You'll be able to see that it's completely empty in the bottom there we're just pulling air bubbles because you can see those pulling up. So we're going to take the needle out of the vial. And now we have two vials of Menopure mixed with our one ml of saline to create 150 units of Menopure. This patient would be ready to do her injection. So she's going to pull back just a little bit with the needle pointed in the air. That's going to allow us to catch any liquid that would be trapped in the hub of the needle so that when you take the needle off of this, it's not ending up on your hand. You haven't wasted any medication that way. Once you have that turned, I'm gonna have you reach underneath of it. Now, this is a big scary needle. It will poke you, it is pointing at the end, so please do not put your hand over the top. Don't try and touch the needle. You wanna go underneath of it, and then it will just unscrew and come completely off. You should have been shipped a sharps container. That needle needs to go straight into your sharps container. Next is to put on your actual injection needle. Now. It's going to pop open just like your syringe did a moment ago. You're going to screw it into place. And we're going to pull the cap on this so you can see what we're talking about. Now, that is a much smaller needle. Um, these injections are given sub-Q, so they do go in your tummy, um, just like your Gain Relics will when you take that as well. So as you can see, this is the top of the medication here. This is all air. Um, while we're not injecting into a vein and it wouldn't particularly hurt you, it's not going to be the most comfortable thing in the world to leave all that air in there. So we're going to get rid of it. If you press up slowly on the plunger, you can see that the medication is moving up. My favorite thing about this small needle is that the hub that connects it to the syringe is opaque and you can see through it. So you can actually see when your Minipure is entering into the hub of the needle. And you'll see that we got a nice little drop at the top. That means this is ready to give the injection and that's gonna go sub-Q into your tummy. 